my decades in the HVAC industry have paid off because I've been able to keep these uh, drill screws with me, self tappers, and fix all these junk tripods I buy off Amazon. Too short. There you are. Yep, yeah, look. Ah! Ah! Hey! This is my grandson, Austin. I'm cool. Come and this is, <laughs> wait, wait, get over here. Evan, Logan? Evan. Evan and Logan. I get them backwards all the time. They're his friends and they're over here to trash my golf cart. <laughs> we get the key. Be safe. Where is it? It's on the table. Yeah. Run, run. Another fabulous sweltering hot day in Florida. I think the feels like today was a hundred and something again, but it's cloudy. And that means I can actually get my portly rump outside and do a little work. My Chrysler minivan has been broke down for a few days. And I gotta go pick up a water heater for a rental property and drop off a lawnmower. And I'm driving my wife's brand new Durango. If I try to go get a water heater in this Durango, a used one at that, I will get the stink eye for the rest of my life. So the plan is to shoehorn my butt into this thing. It's already tagged and registered. I hope the air conditioning still works. Another big boy versus another white Toyota. My name's Jason. This is Grease Belly Garage. Come on. There we go. Come on, baby. Ah. I guess the first thing I need to do is fix the broken ignition valve that I broke the last time I worked on this, adjusting the valves. Okay, Toyotas are incredibly sensitive to positive crankcase ventilation changes. And you can see I jammed the bolt in here before. I hope, I hope I bought a new PCV valve for this thing. It doesn't idle too good when it has PCV problems. And then I had to go and pay an obscene amount of money for this little ported vacuum switch, I guess it is, from eBay. I think this thing was 70 bucks. But I'm going to keep the old one, even though the little nipples are broke off. This is the PCV valve that they sold me at the store. Now, I don't think it's going to work because the original one had a 90 on it, and this one don't. So we're just going to stick that bolt right back in there. Uh oh. I just remembered I've got that 1983 motorhome in the back. It might have the correct PCV valve. Pull this out. Put him there. Throw that out in the yard. Like my Georgia relatives say, Jason, go out there and see if that truck will crank. Oh, the soothing sounds of squeaky V belts. Hopefully, that'll go away. It's going to be embarrassing driving across town listening to that mess. Well, when you put it in gear, the noise goes away. So that's a good thing. Oop. I spoke too soon. I always gauge my weight loss or gain by how well I fit in these vehicles. And uh, I actually fit better in this than I did when I first got it. So, and my air conditioning still works perfect. I catch a lot of crap on YouTube for the way I do air conditioning work, but this thing's already getting cold in here and uh, I don't really care you know because what I do works weighing refrigerants for rookies beer can cold that's the way I do it you go to HVAC school and they teach you a bunch of science that you're never going to use because especially in Florida you just kind of have to figure out how to make it work the best way to do that is to go out and destroy a couple of compressors and then you learn real quick exactly what you're made of. As long as you do it back here. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you do it like right in the yard, okay, and don't hit nothing. Okay. okay. Oh. I know because the front end's broken again. You guys are gonna have to put it up. You look at the tires, Austin. You see how one's kicked out sideways? Yeah, it's it's Remember that happened a long time ago, like two years ago? Put it away and I'll order the parts for it, okay? Don't ride it, it'll break and you'll get stuck. Newer golf carts are junk too, by the way. 
It's not too bad as long as you don't rev the engine much. The alternator's still charging. It's not overheating. The compressor's still working. There's only two belts, alternator and air compressor. There's no power steering on this truck, so. See, it's just a matter of thinking outside the box here. I'm driving it down the road now. The belt is just screaming, but it overshadows the sound from the poor valve adjustment that I did. But if I turn the radio up, it drowns all of it out. So can't do that on video because you get copyrighted, which is fine. I mean, I mean, I don't, whatever, you know. I don't know whose idea it was to put a tractor supply next to a sushi restaurant, but as I drove by there with a screaming belt, you know, I had lots of people walking out to their Tesla. They were looking at me like, like, because I got a Georgia license plate probably, and I went to Tractor Supply, and I got a squeaky belt, and I got glasses, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I've ever felt like a bigger menace to society. Somebody in a Daiwu already flipped me the bird. A few other observations along the way. The headlights on this thing suck. And I've been reaching for power window switches and looking for backup cameras and all kinds of things. You just don't realize how spoiled you get with newer cars. But this thing really does drive good. I think it's got like 80 horsepower or something like that. On a more positive note, all four fan speeds work on the air conditioning and the little blue compressor button lights up still. When's the last time you saw that on Toyota? And all the dash lights work perfectly. The, uh, the alternator gauge is reading about halfway, but otherwise, so far, so good. The real test will be the Chick-fil-A drive through New cars really are amazing. I mean, they, people say all the time, they don't make them like they used to. Well, you probably ought to be kind of glad they don't. People are driving by me like, I feel like I'm just sitting still. I'm going 50. But when there's nobody around me, I feel like I'm going like, I don't know, Mach 3 or something. Hey, What's up, car, man? Car, I got a new man. car. I got a new ride. Yes, sir, what yes, do you sir. think? You like it? I, I love it. Yeah? I love low trucks, I'm not going to lie. You like, well, this is pretty low, yeah. Oh, you mean <laughs> low to the ground. And it's got a Kenwood CD player and the air conditioning works. It's listen, nice. Listen, listen to the air conditioning. Hear that squeak? <laughs> See, that's, oh. that's when you know it's right, you know yeah, what I mean? Sir, yeah, yes, man. That's when you know you get into air. That's right. Uh -huh. I consume a lot of sweet tea from Chick-fil-A. That's probably why I'm overweight. Why is the manager wearing a dunce hat? Oh, it's his birthday? Oh. When you get out on the open road in the pitch black dark, the headlights don't seem as bad. Just look at how nice these gauge lights work. We got the, I guess that's a Pioneer or a Kenwood stereo of some kind. It's got an Espanol menu and it's got like 37 different levels of brightness, I think it says, and it's Android compatible, that's good. I don't know how to use it, but I like that it's got it. If that belt wasn't squeaking, this wouldn't be too bad at all driving this thing around. And we got a powerful dome light here too, and you can't see it too good, but I actually bought a tilt steering column for this off of Facebook Market Flakes. You better not put that greasy lawnmower in the back of my Durango, I'm telling you that right now. And uh, I have circumvented that. So the Toyota's back on the road, did its first main voyage, hauled a lawnmower, Almost hauled a water heater. It wasn't worth picking up, so I didn't pick it up. Drove it all around town. Put a good 15, 20 miles on it. Running good. Squeaking good. So, if you guys liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs up anyway. Pay it forward. Be nice. Um, there's more to come on the Toyota truck and lots of other things, too. I'm just letting this heat kind of settle down here in Florida a little bit. It's been brutal. And, uh, you know, when you're a big guy, it's rough working on this stuff. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I will catch you all on the flip side. See you next time. Right. Tune in again. Thanks for watching. Yeah.